We came all the way to water reserve. Guess what the girl wants to do? Sand pit. Oh. <laughs> Not looking at the animals, but playing the sand. What have you done, girls? Are you making a spa? That look really comfortable. <laughs> Are you putting your feet in the spa? <laughs> And Isabel, what are you making there? A look, that looks like a hippo. You see a big tummy and a big head. Can you see a hippo? <laughs> She's making a foot spa apparently. Yeah, we are in the hippo pit. <laughs> That's why you made a hippo shape foot spa chair. <laughs> Yeah, once you finish here, we go to the safari bus. Okay. You enjoy the sand, okay? Here you go, all the hippo, right? Oh, where did the other one go? Before there was two. Oh, we're under the water. Now we can only see one. It's coming. Oh, it's coming? I think. It's a nice warm day for hippo, right? There you go, the other hippo also come out now. Uh -huh. Oh, went down. Let's play hide and seek. Oh, here you go, the third one. So this oh no, that's a tail. That's a bonbon. Okay, there's only two of them. I think it was a mother and the daughter. Went down again. This is the cheetah. Sunbathing. It's still there. It's still there, yeah. It's still there. A gorilla? Uh, but one of their favourite trees is a nice big iceberg lettuce and a lot of greens. So they get about 15 kilos of greens a day. And then on top of that, they get their vegetables. They get roughly one to two kilos of like solid veggies. So capsicum, carrots, cucumber, corn, eggplant, um, all that good stuff. So. Very, so very it's happy very with, healthy. Uh, when they get their food. <laughs> and then on top of that as well, we do a lot of training. So we use what we call... Oh, they found lots of bunnies hopping around, see? <laughs> oh, there's a couple more on the ground here. Around some of our camels here now. Uh, camels, of course, uh, come in two varieties. The dromedary, which is what these are, with a single hump. And you also get the two-humped version, which is called a Bactrian. The dromedaries were brought to Australia, in fact, nearly 200 years ago now, uh, in the 1840s. Well, we had a few thousand of them in zoos around the world, so we've been able to save them from extinction. We do breed them here at the Werribee Zoo. Now, these are all girls out here. They do have horns. Uh, in this species of antelope, both male and female have horns. In some other species of antelope, only the males have horns. So, uh, yeah, one of those mysteries of nature. So, these are Indian or black buck antelope, originally from uh, northern India, Pakistan through to Nepal. They're one of the world's smallest antelope, but also one of the world's fastest, being able to run at up to 90 kilometers an hour. Really fast, and only as one I can boy see, the predators are coming over the, the hill. And the I know they can outrun them, so uh, I like to sit in the open. Not all antelope one boy, like to do that. The girls. Most antelope like to sort of hide in the trees. Right? Only one boy. These uh, are quite happy to sit in the open. Only one. The others are all girls. The others don't have horn. He's only one with horn and the black coat. American and in bison. fact, uh, probably uh, were saved just in time. They were officially protected in 1901. And at that stage, I think there was probably less than a thousand left at that point. Stand up. But uh, as I said, they were officially protected in 1901, and that was enough then to save them from extinction. 
So there's about 50,000 wild bison now in North America, so... Ostrich boy has black feathers. Of course, the ostrich is the biggest bird in the world, but they're not the smartest. Their brain is still quite small. It's actually smaller than its eyeball. Grey and boys have black They have survived pretty well over the years because they run pretty fast. Been around for millions. Eli, the largest antelope. They can still jump about three meters in the air. A very powerful antelope. Wow. You can jump up to three meters, Eli. Strongest. Look at the rhinoceros. Just on the right hand side here, one of our rhino girls is the Batava. She's 33 years old. Weighing over 2,200 kilos, 2.2 tonnes. So she's eating about 40 kilos of grass every day. They use their hearing and their sense of smell really more to uh, tell where they are. That's Gafari. He is 15 years old. Oh, so cool. Marke running, uh, walking towards us on the right hand Alicia. side there, that's Marke. Turn around, let me take a photo of the runner with you. Come here. Yeah, she's the great grandmother of the uh, calf that we just had born here a few weeks ago. You might have uh, read about that or seen it on the telling. Yeah. Um, cool. The rhino family. The father is the father of that calf. And the calf and mum, Capenzi, are off display at the moment, but hopefully be on display again at uh, the summer school holidays. These are plains zebra, which is the most common species, again, you'll, you'll find in Africa. So there's about half a million. Zebra and the giraffe, David. Hello, David, you say... Yeah, they stay together, right? And then tell me. All the animals here are good friends. They all stay very close zebra, to each other. Zebra, unfortunately, are often hunted by lions, and uh, that's where the stripes come into play because lions only see in black and white in grayscale. So. The stripes do actually help to confuse the lions, and most of the time the zebra will escape. Of course, we're always wondering whether they're black with white stripes or white with black stripes. You might want to think about your answer, but I can tell you officially yes, black they are black white with white stripes. Isabel's yes, right. But they got black skin with white stripes on it. Mm -hmm. Can we have a pass on our younger giraffe here on the left hand side? His name is Wayo. Just over two years old. And as I said, in the tree there is our tallest Armani, over six meters tall. And uh, 18 years old. Yeah, the tallest one's Amani. He's over six meters tall. Eighteen, I think. Eighteen years old. Male ostrich again with the black fur. No, like the girls has grey and the brown fur. Mongolian horse, tatties. So many bunnies today. Look at Yezi, she's touching the buttock of the rhinoceros. <laughs> Is that fun? <laughs> oh, Zoe is climbing as well. Sister's lending her hand. Oh, it's quite slippery. <laughs> Can you do it? Oh. Very good, Zoe. Good climbing. Good job. Good climbing.
Oh, so cute. <laughs> All right, ready? I'll take a photo now. <laughs> Oh, look at my cuties. Oh, boys on the rhinoceros. Very nice. <laughs> Are you riding a rhinoceros? <laughs> Say cha cha cha. <laughs> so much fun in the zoo. <laughs> okay, good job. They're on two different rhinos now. Yuzi is on the rhino out to the front, and Zoe is on the rhino on the back. Have one rhino each. Oh, Isabel's riding a zebra. <laughs> Zoe, what are you riding? You're riding a lion. <laughs> Kiria, Kiria, Kiria. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, look at the two sisters. <laughs> They're so happy together. <laughs> They're so strong, you see. <laughs> oh, so he's riding it as well. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Oh, both of us are on the rhinoceros. Before was the hippo, and now it's the rhinoceros. Very nice. I need that starfly, I mean the flower. Okay, I'll give you the flower. Are you playing drum? Playing drum on the rhinoceros. <laughs> nice. Okay, it's about going to cross now. Oh. Very quick. Nice. Does all you want to come back? Okay, Isabel can go first. Good job, Yuzi. So you come? Very nice. Very good. Very good. Very good. Yay! Both of you did it. Look at my little explorer. She's looking for the Australian native animals. What animal can you see? Yes, Zoe? Can I see baby you can see baby emus. I can see a big emu there as well. And kangaroos. And kangaroos, yeah. Kangaroos and emus. The Australian native animals, right? Yeah, look at the wallabies. Oh, oh, there's another one there. Oh, yeah. Very cute. It's eating the leaf. They are doing cookings. Let's put some water in. Can we get some water, please? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Can we actually try to make fire? meat in the pot oh so spices <laughs> okay that's enough that's enough for one pot Thank you.
That's a very healthy diet. Good cooking, kids.